Breaking down film with Jaguars new offensive coordinator John DeFilippo. You are no longer the new guy in the building. No. The new guy, Nick uh -huh. Foles. That connection, you being the Eagles quarterback coach during the Super Bowl run with Nick, that connection, how big of a deal is that? I think it's big. I, I do. I think whenever you have the quarterback that understands the, what the coordinator's thinking and they're on the same page and have been on the same page, uh, you know, at a, another stop and had success, I think that's huge. And I think Nick's going to do a great job of not only being a bridge for the players, but also the coaches in terms of what we're trying to accomplish. Um, he deserves an opportunity to lead a team. It's a goal of his to lead another team. Do you agree that this is a great shot in Jacksonville? It's a fantastic shot. I mean, you know, obviously this team was riddled with injuries last year, but, you know, obviously they're a season removed from playing in the AFC Championship. And, you know, obviously we were watching them on tape in Philly that year just in case we were, we were going to have to play them in the Super Bowl. So, um, obviously it's a really good team. Uh, you know, there's some, there's some pieces that need to be added that we all know about, and uh, we're excited for that opportunity. All right, let's go into this film. We have conference championship against the Vikings. It's a fun game in a lot of ways. So... You know, Nick is a, such a, a veteran savvy guy, okay, because, and, and you need a lot of experience when you get down here in the red zone, okay? So a guy that knows how to throw accurately, throw on time, okay, into spots. When we talk to our quarterbacks all the time about red zone football, we always talk about the back of the end zones, at least defended part of the field, and we want the ball face mask or higher, okay? So what we try to do is we try to give the quarterback as much information pre-snap as we can. What we're doing here is we're sending out Sean Jeffrey, okay, in motion. And Nick recognizes right now, you know, being the veteran that he is, that no one goes with Alshon. So we know it's zone coverage. So the Vikings wanted to play what we call a single safety middle uh, zone coverage, where we know we wanted to attack the right center field and left center part of the field. And Nick knew that going into the game. So to the naked eye, this doesn't look like a big deal. But when I show it to you from the tight copy, it's just a savvy veteran move. Watch Nick's eyes, how he, we call steer the defender out of center field. He just steers and holds 41 right here with his eyes just to get him just to give him enough room right now where he has a decision to make whether he's going to bang in that thing right now on Zach Ertz or throw that face mask or higher like we always talk about mm -hmm. to Alshon Jeffrey in the back of the end zone. So average fan, they're not going to notice what we call steering the defender or holding the defender. Will you do that with your eyes and your shoulders while still keeping your lower body Okay, being able to throw that ball to right center field. And it's just a crafty, you know, veteran savvy move that, that he has. The big game. Super yeah. Bowl. That was Eagles. a lot of fun. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, a good time. I, yeah. <laughs> Track me. I, I go back to it. We're trying to give the quarterback as much information pre-snap as we can. All right. So again, that's our running back right there, Corey Clement. Mm -hmm. So he comes out here from wide, comes back into the backfield. So he has a linebacker follow him into the backfield. So right now the quarterback knows it's man coverage. All right. So we're giving him what we call a little bit of the answers to the test. All right, we knew going into this game, if there was a linebacker, okay, on Corey, he was gonna run what we call a rail route, where he's gonna get to the outside edge of the numbers, okay, and then fade it to what we call the red line. So he's going down right down the outside edge of the numbers right now. That's the outside edge, that's the inside edge, and fade it to the red line, which is five yards, okay, from the sideline. So we see, saw number 59 running with Corey, knowing that that's matchup favorable for the Philadelphia Eagles right there is a back on a backer. So again, Nick doing a great job of holding the safety with his eyes, okay, and then giving Corey a chance, okay, to, to make a play on this football. And again, it all, all goes back to the timing and the accuracy of everything. And again, look at that, look where that ball lands, right in the back of the end zone, okay, back of the end zone is the least defended part of the field. Every time you hear Nick Foles, the word clutch comes to mind. Everyone mm -hmm. says how clutch he is in the playoffs, and now the Super Bowl, you see that here. Absolutely. Again, another, another unique motion that we use uh, and you'll see this our fan base will see a lot of this stuff um, these unique motions at our games on Sunday giving the quarterback answers to the test so this is a cover zero look right here everyone's within 11 yards of, of the line of scrimmage okay both safeties are on the same side of the football those are all cover zero tells for the quarterback which he knows how to recognize okay understanding matchups is and understanding your personnel are huge for a veteran quarterback mm -hmm. We have Zach Ertz up here, okay, on a safety. All right, Zach Ertz is one of the best tight ends in the National Football League. So we have him on a safety running run a slant route, which is a three-step slant, which is a 45-degree angle going this way. So Nick does a great job of understanding, hey, right now I got one of my best players right here on a safety and gives him a great chance and a great throw. Puts the ball out in front of him again, decision-making, timing, accuracy. Puts the ball out in front where he can catch and run through the football. And again, if that ball's on his back pad, Either he makes the play at the three yard line or Zach doesn't score, mm -hmm. okay? Probably both. So again, puts the ball on his front pad and allows Zach again to use his God-given ability to get in the end zone. 
Philly special. Ready? Reverses it, and the pass goes into the end zone. To Nick and Foles. it's a touchdown by Nick Foles. I sold it. I did some acting. Let's go. Household name, Philly special. Yeah. Everyone knows it. Yeah, Philly special. Before we get into fun. it. What was leading up to that? I mean, was that something you knew you were calling right then and there? Yeah, we headed up actually against against the uh, Minnesota Vikings in the NFC Championship game uh, the week before. But we had we had at the time we were talking about running it. We had scored 31 unanswered, so um, we were going to save it for the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. You know, if we, if we had a chance. So, you know, th these guys did a great job of executing the play. And and part of part of playing quarterback and being a savvy veteran is being a little bit of an actor, be an actor with your voice, be an actor with your cadence. Be an actor at the line of scrimmage, you know, in certain ways you use your hands. I don't want to give anything away, you know, on TV. You know, when your hands are under center, you can do certain things to manipulate the D-line a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, a guy like Nick that understands kind of, what we call, you know, the tricks of the trade, okay, as you can see, he's being an actor here, like he's walking up like he's checking the play. Yep. That's our signal right there when we were trying to, what we call kill a play, is change a play at the line of scrimmage. Comes to a stop, and again, just a savvy veteran, just standing up straight and just acting like, you know, he has no idea what's going on allows him now to slip out past the linebacker and out into the flat. And again, um, the guys did a great job of executing it. And what a lot of people don't know is, you know, we're practicing this play leading up to the Super Bowl. We had one ball hit about here at the five yard line. We had one ball land in the, in the, in the stands. Um, there was a few errant, uh, we had a missed exchange here. So we, we got to the point though, we were confident in our guys that uh, we knew on the big stage they'd execute. So with that practice, when you called this play, were you like, oh gosh, I hope this works no, a little bit? No, you know what, it's, uh, it was, like I said, when you have confidence in, in your veteran players and, and your confidence in your guys and you know they're, they're, they're good on the big stage, and hey, let them roll, let them go. And uh, like I said, this was, uh, you gotta say this is probably one of the best plays in Super Bowl history. Absolutely. I would, I would have to. Is it your favorite play? Um, it was one of the most favorite I've been a part of. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So now that we've looked at this film and we know how excited everyone is to have Foles in the building, what's the next step now, now that he's here? Sure. Next step is obviously getting him acclimated with his teammates when they come back in April and getting him familiar with the new, new wideouts and new tight ends that we're going to have and, you know, just familiar with the whole football team. You know, obviously people forget now. I mean, these guys are people too. So he's, you know, relocation, mm -hmm. um, knowing where to, the quarterback room is in the building, knowing where to eat, knowing where, you know, where the training room is. You know, all that stuff takes a little bit of time and uh, so, you know, he'll get acclimated fast and he's a, he's, he's going to be great.